all right folks sorry about that memory card ran out we were showing you um how to use some of the very simple um smartphone apps that you can get through you know major cell phone carrier i'm not really going to say their names because i don't get paid to um you know just to kind of help you aid in your process of you know doing a polar alignment any little thing helps as far as the polar alignment goes that's the crucial step as long as you get that right you know the rest of it's pretty well set up um as you can see we got the mount set up um we got the weights on we got the telescope mounted we balanced out the telescope um we've got the the 40 millimeter meat 5000 apostle eyepiece in I'll try to get you a decent little shot of that and it's pretty dark let me uh, grab the old flashlight here um definitely going to want to get a decent flashlight with a red lens um pick that up you can see i've got it adjusted in um here we've got the the viewfinder on the bracket that i made the other day set up and uh just just stuck it in just you know tighten down the screws really i haven't had a chance to really align anything yet so you know we're gonna we're gonna play with that but you can see where the viewfinder you can see the two little shiny dots up there that's usually where it would go and this is where we we ended up putting it we put it almost a good you know almost two foot down i'd say that's at least 18 to almost 20 24 inches down from where it was so now i can really sit right back here at the base of the scope and give you some light here you know we can sit right back here at the base of the scope and really just look look through the viewfinder at the base to you know you can see it's just it's in line it's nice clean um you know it just it helps out I, to me it's just it's it's a simple upgrade to do just to make things a lot better um you know it just you know usually the viewfinder is all the way up there where the focuser is and you can see we got it back here um there's plenty of adjustment left to do you know to to get it all nice and centered in shouldn't be no issue um you know it's just a worthwhile to me modification that you can do to really make this thing come to life and help you out so anyway enough being said um i think we're pretty well ready to to go we're polar aligned we're set up in the home position we're getting ready to align the scope um it's funny enough that the other night last weekend when i got this out you know we had a big very big dew problem and tonight you can see there's just absolutely there's just absolutely no really very minimal dew there's just a little very little bit consider we're going to be looking at the moon to be honest with you when we get this thing targeted up at the moon and focused in i'd be willing to say that the sunlight just coming off simply the the moon is going to burn that that little bit of residue out just from heating up the primary mirror in the base so um we should definitely have a, a good night of observation and looking tonight so um anyway that's it for tonight i'll let you know um tomorrow just how things went and uh good luck finding the stars happy trails